Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Thursday the 18th of May. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened overnight. We'll start off in uh, the UK. We had the average earnings index coming on forecast. Uh, the GBP USD had a strong day yesterday but that was mainly due to sell off on the US dollar. I think I think the, the biggest news coming out of uh, Europe yesterday, the Euro had a very, very strong day even though there was no actual major data releases and that's uh, largely due to in recent times the Euro has been under pressure from political uh, stress and it seems that that political stress after the French elections has been moved. We've broken through that 110 barrier, it's actually shot through the 111 and it's got a lot of momentum at this particular point in time. In Canada, we had manufacturing sales come uh, came in close to the forecast at 1%. That is now a record 53.9 billion uh, for March. Um, overall, sales were up in 16 of 21 industries, representing around about a 70% uh, of the manufacturing sector. Um, the US CAD did have a tight trading day uh, yesterday um, and really the market pretty much finishing where it started. It, although this news was a positive, it was more so the oil inventories which affected it so it basically had a neutral day. So in the US the oil inventories actually fell for six straight weeks in a row. Um, better than the forecast numbers but that's what actually happened. Okay, all right it is now time for our chart of the day and the chart that I have found for us today, I don't actually have one that's set ready right now to go but I've got two charts for you. The first one is the US CAD on a daily and you can see he clearly that I've marked out a region where the market has previously acted as resistance and it's shot off a one, two and sort of a third time. We've shot through, we've come back and now we are at the point where we possibly could be testing it. Um, the current candle, the little one right here where I've got my mouse right now, uh, this one is still to be completed. This is just today's candle so we need to wait for that one to finish. If it ends up being an inside candle then it would be all systems go and we can try and attempt to trade this one in the upward direction. So that one is the chart of the day, the US CAD daily. The other chart I wanted to show to you today is an Aussie Swiss chart. Now this one has come to a, a very uh, strange level like the market has come to this uh, support level many many times. Uh, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six and now six times it's come to this level um, and actually now this is the seventh time. Will it break this time or will we shoot up again? So be alert to both opportunities. Uh, if you're a breakout uh, trader, uh, keep a, uh, an eye on a strong breaking candle or we could get another inside candle situation and we get another attempt to trade this one back up. So there you have it. Uh, that's a second uh, chart of the day as a bit of a bonus just to keep an eye on that one. That's an interesting one. The Aussie Swiss on a daily. All right, let's take a look at what's coming up in the session that is about to start for us. We have at 11.30 employment change and the employment rate numbers from Australia. At 6.30 this evening we have a retail sales from the UK. 10.30 tonight US unemployment claim numbers. 3 a.m. we have from Europe, uh, ECB President Draghi will be speaking. Of course all these times are in my local time which is Australian Eastern Standard Time, uh, otherwise known as Sydney Time. As always guys, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Tomorrow there will be no daily call tomorrow. I will endeavour to do my best to send you out to tweet out a chart of the day. I am travelling and I will be doing a seminar in Melbourne tomorrow, at, actually tonight. I'm doing it tonight at 6.30. If you do, if you'd like to attend and you haven't had the information, contact us and we can give you the details. Um, it's it's a, actually a really nice event. Uh, love to see you down there. Otherwise, I will next speak to you on Monday uh, for the daily call and the weekly analysis. So tomorrow I will try my best to send you out a chart of the day, but I cannot do the daily call tomorrow. Have a great weekend and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.